What's up, people? We are back with more of Miniature Garden. In the previous video, we sort of got the bad ending of, I guess, the Sumika route in a sense. Because this is the moment, this is going to be the good ending. And this is the moment right before she kind of goes batshit crazy and wants to be ghost lovers with us and decides to kill us. So, yeah. I'm hoping things don't take that bad of a turn again, because this is right before that very moment, pretty much. So, let's see what's gonna happen. Again, with the implications that she knew of my past. What if... I mean, we at least have some sort of connection, right? We were at least patients, or we're test subjects together. That's the one thing we at least have in common. So maybe she, she kind of just liked me from a distance, even though we never really saw her or never got to know her. But for some reason, she liked me from a distance and was jealous of Ayana, because I was always with Ayana. And that's just the, the, the remaining lingering feelings that she still has left for me. And that's always stuck with her. That's the only thing I can think of. I didn't do anything special. I mean, it wasn't even your fault. I'll go. Don't say that, please, Sumika. Sumika, you got that crazy look in your eyes again. Huh? I suddenly, I was suddenly shoved aside by a strong force. My back slamming into the bookshelves. A couple of files fell down by the impact. I could swear Sumika hadn't moved. Who was it then? But something had definitely pushed me. What the hell was going on? And before I could get up, Sumika crawled on top of me. Uh-oh, girl, girl, let's not have ghost sex right here, okay? I could see the glint of darkness from before in her eyes. <laughs> What are you trying to do to me? Like, I don't want to lose my virginity to a ghost, please! It was as though I was tied up. I couldn't move at all. Remember something similar kind of happened as well? Before, in the bad ending? Where we, f where we were like, frozen in place and it felt like thousands of hands were like, holding us down. So, does she have like, invisible ghosts on her side that are helping her right now? And one pushed me to the ground right now as well? Like, they're helping her rape me? Sumika traced her hand against my uniform until she found where I kept the knife and pulled it out. Whoa, 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 can we just have normal sex? I don't want kinky sex with knives and shit, okay? Please. Uh-oh. <laughs> Please don't smile like that. What the hell is that even supposed to mean? I couldn't do anything against this inexplicable force. Uh-oh, God. I felt a shudder run up my spine in response to her ice-cold voice. I was confused to the extent I couldn't figure out how to reply at all. What was she talking about? They did that to you, the teachers? Sumika... Oh god! But...but... But... Ayana didn't do that to you, right? You're not thinking about something stupid, are you? <sighs> I am not taking anyone's side. <sighs> the inexplicable force paralyzed me again. But Sumika wasn't even doing anything. Really? Her quote-unquote ghost was just summoned here by someone? And she thinks that she got brought here 
to give her a chance at revenge. Because she supposedly, if she died, yeah, she should have been died f dead for at least several years already, if not longer. Revenge? What are you? What are you talking about? And with that, Sumika drew away from me and ran out of the room. What? Now she's running away? I wanted to go after her, but I still couldn't move. I couldn't see anything holding me down. And yet, Ayana was in danger. Oh no, please don't do anything to Ayana. And I was also worried about Itsuki who had inexplicably disappeared. Sumika kept talking like she knew us from before. I didn't remember her. But if any of the seven mysteries were really true, not a mere rumor, but a legitimate horror story. In that case, that doll is always trying to kill me when it grows dark. Oh, what? What? Sumika is the doll? Is that what you're trying to say? I had but one crazy idea that could have explained this. Huh? All of a sudden, the force holding me down disappeared. I could finally move again. I wonder if it was because Sumika had gotten further away from me. Anyway, I had to hurry and go after her while it still wasn't too late. Come on, we gotta go fast. Oh shit, is she how? How would she be the doll? She's she's a human right now! No, Ayana! Ayana! It happened right after I emerged from the storage room. I dashed upstairs to where I heard the screams from. Ayana! What's happening? I ran into the exhausted Ayana as I finished climbing the stairs. I don't fucking get it either, okay Ayana? We're all just fucking confused. She clung to me. It didn't seem like she was hurt at least. What happened? Is Itsuki dead? Itsuki? I had a bad feeling about this. Well, duh. It was obviously something bad that was, was going on just from looking at her. What about Komiya? I don't know. I don't have answers for you, Ayana. Not yet. There was no way I could tell. But if my suspicions about what happened in that science classroom were correct, then the person responsible was... Sumika. I'm sorry. Can I go see what happened? Do we want to? Even if we don't want to, I feel like we have to. Ayana drew away from me without a word. I apologized to her and went right to the science classroom. God, what kind of gruesome horror scene are we gonna see? The moment I entered, I smelled a weird scent mixed in with the usual smell of the chemicals inside. Yes, Yo, what happened? Omiya turned around to me. Thanks for looking after Ayana for me. What happened here? I noticed the abnormal part right away. On top of one of the tables. There lay Itsuki. In a pool of blood. So now it's Itsuki the one that dies, not Komiya. Uh, I mean uh, Sumika in the science classroom. There was no use in even trying to confirm it. He was deader than a doornail. I see. I'm a man, I'm not scared by a little blood. Huh? Oh, uh, I can't say I'm totally okay with it, but I'm running on adrenaline right now. So. I wasn't sure if she was asking whether I was okay to be looking at a dead body, or seeing what used to be my friend in such a state. I guess it could have well been both. <laughs> Oh, that's... 
I heard Ayana's voice from the quarter. Why did we leave Ayana alone? Sumika is not acting like herself right now. The two of us rushed out into the corridor. Sumika, please, please. And stood in front of Ayana to cover her from Sumika. Sumika, please drop the knife. Drop the knife. Get rid of the crazy eyes. Come back to the real world, even though you're still a ghost. Fuck, that doesn't work. God damn it. Well, who else would it be? The crazy woman with a holding a knife? Or an innocent looking girl? Hmm, I wonder who the killer is. Her eyes were completely overtaken by darkness. She seemed to have already unsheathed her knife. It's hard not to get suspicious when you're acting like this. What? Why are you acting... What? Huh? Sure, sure, just shift the blame over to one of the seven mysteries. Yeah, that's gotta be the reason. There's no way it could be a knife. It's gotta be a mystery. Sumika began to laugh. Is she bipolar or something? Huh? Komiya replied to her in a taunting tone. We're asking you if you killed Itsuki. I mean, maybe that's what indeed what she's trying to say. It's just the mystery of the school, right? Because she died due to kind of similar reasons. So she's like, oh yeah, no, I died because of the mystery of the school too, blah blah blah. Sumika's expression contorted in response to Komiya's words. Komiya, do you know something? What do you mean? Why? I'm not gonna let you get close to Sumika? Huh? Ayana, who was supposed to be behind me, stood in front of Sumika. I glimpsed her expression as she passed by me, and she definitely didn't seem to have all of her senses with her right now. Yet there was an undeniable aura of resolve around her for some reason. In the past... Komiya, have you two figured something out? I had a suspicion myself. I wonder if th our theories overlapped. Well, normally I would say no, but I've seen Chucky, so... You know? I know that's a movie though. And But then again, this is a game, a story, so... Of course it's possible here. Inanimate objects? よくホラーにもあると思う。大事にしていた何かの持ち主が死んだ後、妙な出来事が重なるとか、死んでいなくても捨てたものが戻ってくるとか。Oh shit, yeah. That last part, that always happens in horror movies as well. Yeah. Ayana Yep. That truly was an insane idea, but it's possible we're thinking about the same thing. Can you tell me what Ayana said to you exactly? Komiya nodded and began explaining. I told Ayana all about the medicine and the fact Sumika's name was missing from the registry. There was no way Sumika could have naturally existed in this world right now, and she obviously had some sort of attachment to Ayana and Yasunari. After some thinking, I couldn't help but arrive at the conclusion that her existence was somehow related to that doll Ayana mentioned. In that case, 
there was no longer any denying that we were trapped by a real school mystery. It was true that this school was full of such rumors, but seriously? I'm guessing this is, is this kind of like a sort of a flashback from not too long ago where uh, Komiya is explaining everything to Ayana? I never really believed in such things. But there was simply no other explanation. But even if that was the case, this paranormal phenomenon must have followed a strict set of laws of its own. Not even it could escape the physical laws of causation. I must have lacked imagination, thinking this must have either been or must have been either related to the medicine or was some sort of mass hallucination. <laughs> That's usually how ghosts returns, or, or rather why ghosts remain in this world, right? Because the belief is usually if you die, your ghost goes to the afterlife or whatever, you know? But sort of ghosts that still have an attachment to this real world because they've been they, they were wrong, you know? They were wrong somehow and they want to, want to fulfill that wrongdoing in their life or whatever, you know? They have just some sort of attachment that allows them or doesn't allow them to move on on to the afterlife so could that just be with sumika as well that's why she's still here because apparently ayana and i did wrong by her somehow <sighs> ayana's words momentarily sent my mind blank i completely f uh, forgot one could look at this from that angle too <laughs> By Sumika? Horror movies? I feel like if there's one thing that I have learned from this visual novel, right? is that the people that are actually acting the nicest to you are people you actually can, apparently can't trust, right? Itsuki was our friend for quite a while. We can't fucking trust him. Uh, Sumika was like the nicest, adorable, cutest, energetic indeed, bubbly girl. We can't fucking trust her either. Whereas Komiya, she's more of a silent type, but you know, she, she doesn't really stand out in the sense that Sumika does, but and we weren't even that close with Komiya, but at least on her, I felt like we can count on her, we can trust her. I thought she would be more scared. She's been acting pretty unstable lately, after all. But I definitely appreciated this kind of s display of strong will right now. Besides, whomever Sumika was supposed to be, I still wanted to help her. I told that to Ayana. Yeah, he's dead. D E D, dead. But what they found instead was just a dead body in the science room. It was just like I thought, after all. Alright, now we're back to the present day. Ayana had a doll that she treasured at a young age. She said she rece received it from her parents, who were rarely at home, as a birthday present, and carried it around with her everywhere. But one day, really out of nowhere, she suddenly said she was scared of it, and I never saw it since. After that, she'd become terrified by a mere sight of any human-shaped doll. I glanced at Sumika to see how Ayana's words had affected her, but she was just staring at the ground, saying nothing. She really that... She really that doll? If that was the case, it would definitely explain Sumika's behavior. Now I feel bad for like all the dolls that I treated badly during my childhood. Like what if, you know, what if Toy Story is actually real life? What if toys, inanimate objects really have feelings and they're really alive? 
It would explain why she knew about our past. And the reason she was obsessed with me was most likely because I took its side when Ayana inexplicably grew scared of it. As much as a crazy idea it was to consider, I just couldn't figure out any other way to explain what was going on. But Komiya, that can't be the sole reason that Sumika is here, can it? So, Mm -hmm. Okay, so I get, I, indeed, I think Sumika, like the body of Sumika, that was indeed killed here at the school many years ago. But like the soul or whatever you would call it, right? That's from the doll. This, their, their lingering feelings must have resonated due to the similarity of both of their demise. And then they work together, they're just like, you know what, I want revenge too. And then Sumika's like, okay, me too. And let's work together, doll and human together, fuck yeah. I wonder if it was somehow the fault of the school and its rumors. I wasn't too into the occult, but I couldn't deny the paranormal when it was going on right in front of my eyes. Yeah, th that's the thing, right? For me, at least, I would be like, seeing is believing. I I'm, not, I'm pretty skeptical when it comes to that stuff as well, but if I were to actually see that shit... Then there's no denying it. Why was Sumika killed? Convenience? Could it just be that they're actually just all the people that are the names are crossed out, right? Because we are sort of test subjects. Could it just be that they're eventually after many years of, of administering the, the medicine to us? That they just kill us, kill us off to basically remove the evidence of all that they have done to us. Hmm. Are you talking about that red line crossing out our names? Itsuki's name wasn't crossed out though. And Itsuki was already very much dead. Ayana kept talking to Sumika, despite the latter showing no reaction. But those were the words that finally seemed to bring her back to reality. Yes, can we somehow save you? Give us the knife first. The windows and doors suddenly trembled with a heavy clanking sound. Okay, this has never happened before. It was almost as though an earthquake had started, or if the corridor was swept th through by a very strong gust of wind. <laughs> what? <sighs> the windows and the corridor all shattered to pieces. As Sumika finally raised her face with a scream. Whoa, she's actually capable of that? Remember when jokingly before she said that she would scream so loud all the windows would break? Apparently she can really do that. This was just like back then in the storage room. There was some sort of invisible force making a mess of things. Oh shit. What does she mean by kill though? If she was a doll, how can you kill a doll? Did, did she kill the doll? Like, did she destroy the doll? She took a step towards us with a warped smile on her face. Calm down, Sumika! Oh shit! Okay, I'm not gonna talk back to a girl with a knife, that's for sure. I was swept away by something and pinned against the wall. It was as though hundreds of invisible hands were holding me in place. Oh no, not again. This school must be a real cesspool of occult energy or some shit. No. Don't sacrifice yourself, Ayane, don't. Ayane nonetheless remained standing firm in place, neither running away, nor showing any will to fight the crazed Sumika. Ayana, what are you no, no, no. Oh, God. Fuck. 
Her eyes. Now it's a fucking crazy showdown. Crazy versus crazy. Because the thing is, right? When Every time Ayane actually remembers, for some reason she keeps just wants to kill herself. Like when she gets those memories, it happened, well, in, in actually a lot of endings. She just, you know, she tries to turn the knife on herself and then kill herself. So, every time she has that crazy look, she actually just like, yeah, you can kill me. Because apparently that's what she wants. She feel like that's what she deserves. <sighs> after effects? Adobe after effects? After effects? But before I even had time to think, Komiya rushed to Ayana's side. Yes, come on, Ryo. Snap her out of it. She circled around Ayana and shook her by the shoulders. Meanwhile, Sumika raised the knife right behind her back. Komiya, look out! No, don't stab her! Komiya dodged the swing at the very last moment. But the unexpected action made her lose balance and she crumbled down to the floor. Right below my feet. Are you okay? <sighs> Ayana suddenly crumpled to the floor herself, as though having lost consciousness. <laughs> oh my god, she's so protective of me. <laughs> Some guys would actually be happy with a girlfriend like this, you know? <laughs> but Sumika still went after the prone Komiya. Sumika! Can't you even tell who is who anymore? Sumika's hand stopped mid-air, and she gave me a close look while she knows who I am, of course. <laughs> Holy shit! Was I that nice to the doll? That that she just she's just like, fuck it, I only want you, dude. I only need you in my life. Sumika! What the hell do you mean? We're all just trying to save you. She seemed to have trouble putting it to words. And we're sorry for that, okay? If we knew you had feelings, if we knew you were alive, we wouldn't have done that, I think. And it's as if her sudden fit of violence had never happened. Tears suddenly welled up in her eyes. For a moment, I didn't know how to react. Komiya silently urged her to let it out. Sumika hesitated for a few moments, but finally parted her lips. So this is Sumika the human talking, I guess? And not the doll's ghost? Or the dope? Yeah. The fuck were they doing to her? And killed you like that? Oh, what? What? They left you. <gasps> Wow, they actually left her to die in that hole. Wow. Okay, that is really fucking cruel. Oh my god. Like, I don't even understand in the first place why teachers and st apparently students were involved as well because Sumika said a good friend of hers, right? This, for some reason, she was acting weird. Probably side effect of the medicine, I guess. Even way back then. Then they blindfolded her, put her in the hole, let her die there from starvation. That is so fucked up on so many different levels. 
He just left you? Like that? I hadn't expected it to be that gruesome. Sumika continued in a condemning tone. But... Dark. Oh, what? It was dark and scary and agonizing and sickening. I had no idea what was going on. My tears wouldn't stop flowing. I kept thinking about why this was happening to me. But I still couldn't understand anything. After I grew weaker, I started to fall into a state where I'd forget what was going on, and then in the confusion remember it all over again. Oh, what? That's even worse! Probably due to side effects of the medicine again, I guess, that she would forget and then remember forget. That's that's like reliving this the pain all over again! Reliving that same shock of like, oh shit, what the fuck is happening? Oh my god, that, that's ten times worse! I kept going through that over and over. All I could do was think. Why me? Would I die here? What was the point of my life? Was there an unfinished TV show I was watching? Attack on Titan probably. I had a promise to hang out with my friends on the weekend. I was hoping to buy a new dress. I was so hungry. I remember that I had tiramisu cake I kept for later in the fridge. Oh, that cake is long gone. Was no one looking for me? Did all of my friends lie? Someone, please. I'm here. Why? Seriously, why? Will I die here? All alone? 